guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm opening up my last Ipsy bag and I'm going to be telling you my experience with Ipsy, why I'm quitting Ipsy, and where I'm going from here. So I already opened up my Ipsy bag because it came super late. Like, it's as if they sensed that I was going to quit, so they like dragged it on to try to get me to stay or something. So anyway, I looked it up online because I just couldn't wait to see what my last Ipsy bag was. So I already kind of knew what I was getting. And when I opened this up, I actually got two of these Bye Bye Under Eye um, from It Cosmetics. And this is the Illumination one. And I've actually tried the other, the original kind. It's like in a silver and black package. But I really liked that one and I'm wearing this one on my eyes right now. And it's a little bit hard to apply, but I like it, so I'm not really sure. The first time I tried it, I did not like it. This time I tried it, it's better, so we'll see how I end up liking it. I got, like, super lucky on my last package to get, like, double of something, because that's never happened to me before. The theme for this is Metropolis, and it's, like, some New York theme, it looks like. And this is the bag. It's, like, a baby bluish and I just got a few more things in here I got the Bahama Mama bronzer and I've actually tried this before and I love this and it comes in the cutest and the tiniest little thing it almost looks like an eyeshadow shade if you can see that it's like but it's a bronzer so anyway this is like a really good product but I'm surprised that they made the sample so small. I also got a brush. This is supposed to be a contouring brush or something. And this is from Beauty Basics. And the hairs are pretty soft and it has like these weird little handle things that I don't completely understand. Because you're supposed to use this for like cheeks, highlight, and um, contouring is what it said. I also got this Temp2 primer, and this is a base smooth and matte primer. I don't know if I'm going to find much use out of this because it's a matte primer, and I don't really like to go matte because I just have medium skin, so I don't know. I will use the Hangover Primer by Too Faced right now, and I really like that. And then the last thing that I got was I got this Mud Mask and Exfoliant by Perlis, and... It says that it's a 10 minute facial, and I haven't opened it up yet, but it comes in a cute little bottle here. So that's everything that I got my Ipsy bag for my last Ipsy bag. Now I guess I'll just move on to my experience with Ipsy. Like I said before, I've had Ipsy for over a year now, and I've really enjoyed the experience. I wasn't sure if I wanted to try Birchbox or Ipsy, but I just settled for Ipsy because I wasn't completely sure and I'd heard a little bit more about Ipsy. Some, there's been some pros and cons of Ipsy. Um, a lot of times you don't know when you're going to get your bag and a lot of times if you go onto the Ipsy website to look at points or anything it shows you your bag. So if you want it to be a surprise it's just like pops up, hey this is what you got in your bag. I really liked that I could learn about new products. I was introduced to a bunch of different brands I had no clue who they were or anything and some of the products that I liked and some of the products that I didn't like. Um, most of the time they were just decent products. I didn't always love a product in every single bag um, after trying them but I did like trying all the different skin cares that was really cool because I'm not a big skin care buyer I love to try skin cares but I don't like buy something random that I wouldn't know that actually worked for my skin anyway I'm quitting Ipsy because mostly because I want to have a change I'm kind of tired of getting the small samples in each bag each month and not knowing if I'm gonna love it or not. And I do like the surprise, but like I said, sometimes the surprise was taken away or it took the bag forever to even get here. I just decided that I just wanted an overall change. That's the main reason that I'm quitting Ipsy. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm switching over to FabFitFun and I kind of like the idea of that because it's a big box 
and it's not just a small bag. Even though I've enjoyed getting the small makeup bags, I just haven't found a use for them. I like the idea of it's that it's seasonal. You know, you get one per season and it's specifically for that season and you get a magazine every month and sometimes you get candles. I love makeup, but I don't just love makeup, if that makes sense. I love lifestyle stuff and fashion stuff and workout stuff. And I've just been watching like some FabFitFun, some videos like Kristen Loria, I think is her name. I'll have to link her down below. But anyway, um, I've always liked watching her FabFitFun unboxings. And I like the fact that they're full-size products, they're huge and you get quite a bit and it's a $200 value and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the same amount of money throughout the whole year so it might be $10 more but I haven't really done the math I'm not really sure but I know it's really close to the same price and trying Ipsy for over a year I think that it was good that I did it but it's just the time is over and it's time to move on to something new Anyway, thanks Ipsy for having me, but I'm moving on to FabFitFun. <laughs> leave your comments down below of your thoughts on Ipsy and FabFitFun, and tell me what you think between the two and which one you like better. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What's been happening?